Hello guys, Albatros here and I want to share some quick tips I've been learning about formation flying. Those who know me uh, also know that I am leading an acrobatic squad of the 701 squadron, Portuguese squadron for DCS world. We are a bunch of Portuguese people that have lots of fun and we like to make things a little bit more real. And I'm honored to be number one boss of the Luso or Lusitanos Acrobatic Squadron. So we are practicing at the moment close formation flight and we are discussing how important it is to control or to have a good control on the rudder. We usually fly a lot with stick only or throttle, but don't forget we have rudder and a complete pilot knows how to use uh, all surfaces of the aircraft, of course. But especially here, I'm trailing the aircraft, so I have weight turbulence. I want to stay a bit closer than this, but just to show you how much rudder and right stick I have to to input to be able to maintain that position. We are 280 knots. I'm inside of the airflow of the leading, leading aircraft. And here is how much stick and rudder I have to input in order to maintain my position. So what I do is give some trim to the right exterior trim, exterior foot, foot is stable, trim is well done, meaning that my stick is centered. So there will be my neutral position during the flight. If I feel the aircraft coming right, or if the aircraft is coming right, I'll have to give left stick input. If the aircraft is coming left, I'll have to give right stick input. If stick is neutral, I'm in my position. That's how it works. There we go, aircraft is streamed. I just have to compensate life. Oh, sorry, I put my eyes on the controls indicator and there was enough for me to lose my position. So again, throttle in position, rudder controls my left to right distance stick only to keep the wings leveled with lead aircraft and that's it at this distance as far as i've learned with the best real pilots um, and we are lucky enough to have youtube and videos and internet to see that and to to learn a lot with so many people so many good people i'm not a pro i'm not even a real pilot i'm just been learning with the best and what they say is um, not only the snowboards from Canada, but I've seen this, so many pilots saying this, even if when you are refueling, you control position, the left and right position of your aircraft using rudder. So you use left and right stick or roll to keep your wings leveled or parallel to your boss or lead aircraft but usually the boss in this case that distance we have to to keep right rather exterior rather pressure as you can see there I am still I am giving left input oh there, there goes some weight turbulence I'm still giving some left input on my stick because I'm away of my correct position. So let's go left a little bit. I've had some right trim, exterior trim. So as soon as my stick is centered, I know, there you go. I can feel that I'm in position. So when my hand is relaxed, that means that I'm in position because I have the aircraft trimmed with, uh, I guess it was three, uh, three right inputs on the trim, three clicks, if I'm not mistaken, that was enough. Maybe four, depends on how close you are. 
And that's it for today. I hope that can help you guys to improve your close formation skills. And once you're comfortable with this distance, then, and with the throttle, of course, then we can try to go a little bit closer.